Alright guys, what's up? Um, I'm redoing a review of my MK16 here. As you can see, um, this is actually an Echo 1 that they do not sell no more. It was an all black. They didn't really like all black, so what I did was decide to paint it. This color, woodland, here you can see. I'm going to go into the specs. Uh, over here, I have a quick detach um, case, 5KU. KAC suppressor here, Knight's Armament trays and all that, nice stuff right there, um, that's the same flash how it came with, um, also I got a VFC, I got a VFC, um, VFC Vega Force Company, say it's right here, Vega Force Company, uh, Pack box that has uh, you know IR. You could have flashlight, um, laser, all of it at the same time. Then over here I got 552 replica. Um, got that for about a hundred dollars. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, internally, oh it has a you know cheek riser. It's only two positions. One, actually, actually I think it's one position. One and then two. Yeah, it's like two more positions. But um, only your tracks to three. This is Echo One. I actually have a VFC. I just really ordered a VFC um VFC uh Scar L yesterday. Um, if you want to check that out, uh, it's on um Airsoft GI. It's really nice. Um, this does not have a functional bolt catch like the uh the um, VFC one has. Here it's not functional at all, you know, just there. So go back to your hop up, but um, yeah, uh, give us a follow on uh, Instagram, Recon6 Airsoft. Uh, we post daily pictures of our guns and all that. Um, yeah, I actually do a shooting test of this. I have the um, I have a CQB spring in it right now, actually. Um, so I'll do it. I'll do some accuracy tests from pretty close range, about like 30 40 feet. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Not, not really much. Oh, yeah, um, foldable stock, nice wires do show. It's an echo one. They keep in mind they do not sell these anymore. Yeah, so any so the only way you could get these is from someone, off someone, you know. So, yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it. I'll do a shooting test right now. Alright.